Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend from the CTOadvisor.com, and we're doing a CTO dose at Tech Unplugged. We're, what was it? The North, Ken, what is it? The Northeaster, they, they named it? Uh, uh, Toby, storm. I think it is. Yeah. It was, I've lost track. We've had four this month. So, so we survived <laughs> the storm. We, yes. At least I got, I made it here to New York City. Yep. We're at Tech Unplugged, put on by Arjun and Max. They do a great job. I'm stuffed. Great event. So we're taking a break from the presentations to talk a little AWS security. First, okay, sure. Ken, introduce yourself to the CTO advisor. Sure. So uh, my name is Kenneth Hoy. I am a technical marketing engineer at a company called Rubrik, and um, we just really focus around helping customers with their cloud data management. So speaking of cloud data management, you did a recent, it's like an e-book, man. It's 5,000 words. Yes. <laughs> it's not a, quite a blog post. It's like a, a research paper almost. A little bit, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so um, uh, I tend to uh, create a lot of content. It's part mm -hmm. of my job. It's also what I enjoy doing. I tend to pick topics that A, scratch an itch. Uh, that I have, and B, that I think um, people need to know about. I mean, with all the stuff you're hearing today, these days about data breaches, um, you know, it seems like every single day there's uh, another S3 bucket <laughs> yeah, no, that's open to the world. Um, I just felt like data encryption is one of those topics that people uh, wanted to, and probably even if they didn't want to, they need to get, know more about. Uh, so I just kind of dived in and said, let's let me start writing a blog post about. Uh, how the different public clouds do data encryption, and it kind of grew from that one blog post into a uh, what will be a five-part series. So, from a high level, help me out with an approach to data encryption. When I think about data encryption in mm -hmm. the cloud, I'm thinking, you know what? I encrypt my, my data on premises, where I encrypt my data within the application or within my environment. Mm -hmm. Then I put it into a bucket. Right. Obviously, there's judging by your blog post, the cloud providers give us native options for doing encryption. Yeah, tons of options. So, so one approach is in fact to encrypt your data first mm -hmm. and then upload it. Um, but the all, all three public cloud vendors also give you the option of saying, "I'm going to send it. I'm going to upload the data first and then have the cloud provider provide the encryption service." And there's pros and cons to that, right? Right. Because, um, Obviously, if you do it on site, you're responsible for managing all that. Um, so, a lot of what I was writing about was the linear, all those different uh, options and the pros and cons of each. And I think at the end of the day, the encryption part is actually, the, in some ways, the least interesting or the least important. Right. The most important part is um, something called key management. Yeah, that's the, the, the how to basically unencrypt, encrypt, and deencrypt. A lot of times people worry about, oh, the cloud provider has my encryption keys. So they have both the encrypted data and the keys. So if a bad guy or the government, maybe those are the same people, <laughs> want to get to the data, the cloud provider has both the key and the encrypted data, and I have no control over that. That's right. So. So one option that a lot of customers choose is, hey, I'm gonna manage the keys myself, uh -huh. right? And just and all the providers have access to is the encrypted data. The challenge there is, if you lose the keys, basically there's no way to decrypt the keys. Right, then, then, it's done. then there's a lot of garbage, right? So, right. so th there's there's a trade-off that you have to kind of uh, evaluate: is do I want to do I want to take do I want to take on the responsibility of managing the keys so that uh, the provider doesn't have the keys, or do I want to say, you know what, my job isn't to worry about any of that. My job is to create stuff for the business. I'm just going to let the cloud provider handle anything. I'm going to trust that they're not going to use those keys. So I did a thing on AWS Key Encryption Management. The AWS has like three different levels and three different yeah, all types for, yes. of, of key management. Is that consistent across the other two cloud providers as well? So AWS clearly, definitely has the most mature mm -hmm. um, feature set, uh, which makes sense. They've, they've been around the longest. Um, Azure and Google Cloud is catching up, but they don't. They definitely do not have the same number of options. Uh, so it's just one of the reasons I end up doing uh, one. The part four of that blog series is the longest one. So when you alluded to, that's over twenty thousand, uh, roughly twenty thousand words. Oh, wow. Sorry, five thousand words. Roughly 20 pages in the, on a PDF, um, which is why I actually um, 
I actually printed it out as a PDF, and so people could download it so they don't have to scroll through. So actually, it might even be twenty thousand dollars. Wow. That one. And where I actually literally walked exactly how encryption works for every all three cloud providers, and then list the option because they are so different. Um, and so, what I'm trying to get across to people is you should evaluate how each of them are done and see if it maps to a how your application works and b what your company's policy. Is. Um, so one example is. Um, uh, Google Cloud has default encryption mm -hmm. the, uh, that they do when the later when the data lands, but they don't actually give any tools to let you do the encryption on premises. Oh, okay. you have, you are responsible for doing all that yourself. So until it gets into their actual infrastructure, the data isn't encrypted. So it's in, it's encrypted in transit. Right. But, that, but what that means is there's going to be a moment, some amount of time, to be very short where it gets decrypted once it gets to Google, and then they have to encrypt it and to land it. And in theory, if, you're, if, you're pound, if you want to be pound or careful, that, that you could, uh, an attacker could potentially get to that data during that span of time. So where can people find this mini novel yeah. of the uh, so blog? The, yeah, so um, it's all my personal blog sites. So if you go to cloudarchitectmusings.com, and just uh, do a search on encryption. You'll it'll pull up all four, currently four, and then eventually five blog posts. All right, and you obviously you're on Twitter as well. How can people find you on Twitter? Yeah, uh, I'm at Ken Hui N Y. So it's K E N H U I N Y. And generally, I tweet about um, anything related to cloud, uh, to security, uh, and sometimes food. All right, and that's it for this CTO dose. You can find me on the web. CTOdose.com for these videos and uh, at CTO Advisor for my Twitter handle. And you can find the podcast. Subscribe to it. Both the CTO Dose podcast, you can get this on the podcast. And maybe you're listening to it on the podcast. CTO, CTO, the CTO Advisor.com. Talk to you next, CTO Dose.